Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For those that are new, consider hanging out to the end. Everyone else, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be Portal Knights. Um, now, Portal Knights, to me, is almost like Minecraft meets Portal Knights. I mean, um, there's really no other game that I can think of that has this kind of aspect of, like, going through portals. Um, and I'll just, you'll, you'll see. So let's just, let's just jump right into it. So now the first thing we need to do is create a character. I forgot I made this. So this is Obi. Look, it looks like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, if you ask me. But let's create a new character. You know, new character, new uh, kind of character needed. You know, new character, new character. Hmm. It's an interesting word to explain using its own word to explain itself. New character means new world and all that. So I guess what I'm saying is, is since we're doing this fresh, I need a new character. So now we can do the warrior. The warrior wields swords and axes to defeat their enemies in melee combat. The warrior can also use mighty shouts to strengthen teammates and weaken foes. Um, I've played as a warrior. It's super fun. But there's a ranger. The ranger uses a bow to defeat its enemies from afar. They can also lob bombs to destroy blocks and foes alike. Pretty fun. Um, again, if you like ranged, the the mage the mage uses magic wands and staffs to defeat their enemies and has access to a variety of powerful spells. Um, the mage I I played very little of. It's fun, but the at least last time I played, which was a long time ago, the upgrade costs for these poor mages were ridiculously high. Um, in comparison to a warrior, where all you need to do is run around with you just run around with some copper, and all of a sudden you have a magical sword uh, that will defeat everything. Um, it can get frustrating being the warrior because of some of the mobs, but let's, let's, uh, let's do, it's between these two. Let's see. Uh, Ranger it is. <laughs> that was my, trying to be random. So let's just make, let's do this quickly. What is a haircut for someone that looks like Legolas? For a ranger would be like, mm, not quite. Oh, there's the OB haircut. Is there anything? Oh, is that a mohawk? Perfect. Be Mohawk. He's gonna have not those ears. Wow, bone in his ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different skin color. He won't be. Doesn't need to be like bright neon white. Eye color. Ah. No. Wow, these are some bizarre colors. Sure. Oh, the mouth. I can. <laughs> Buck teeth. Oh. What was that like? Err. Should he always be angry? Oh, there we go. Um, let's change the hair color. I want to do like, oh my gosh, purple. There we go. Or blue. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with purple. Why not? Ranger 726. How about... Leroy. Leroy the Ranger. Why not? Okay, so let's make a new world. Uh... Oh, can I not? Can you really only have... Th oh, no, no. Create a new universe. Adventure. We want large size. And then... Go here. Lee. Roy's universe. Create. And then... Let's jump into it. Alright. So, welcome to Portal Night, more or less. Uh, this is kind of what it would look like. Or it, it, it will look like. Uh, this is the large map. You can see it's kind of big, but it's not as big as you might be thinking. Um, it's it's decent size, right? The small map is kind of silly, ridiculous. Like, you literally spawn at the portal, and then, you know, kind of what happened here. There's that portal. This is where we spawn at, and then that's the portal to get out. So that's what we're trying to find is portals that look like that. You can see it's missing bricks, meaning that we, we have to go and help them. Um, by killing enemies to repair the, the bricks in there to open the portal again. I think since I played through the tutorial the first time, I no longer have the tutorial now. So that's not a problem. I pretty much know what I'm doing for the most part. All right, so let's just, let's go and get some of the needed items. So for instance, since we're, um, you know, poor and have nothing, first thing you got to do like any good game is you just got to start punching trees to get wood. And then we start from there. As you can see, these green things over here, these scary green blobs, those are slimes as you could probably, you know figure out on your own but these are some of the enemies let me show you the combat system so you got to aim but then it goes into like this focus fire 
Um, at least for the... No, I guess it does it for all. It can be really annoying um, as a ranger. Or not a ranger, as a warrior, because not it doesn't always get the best angles, and so you're just kind of blindly swinging. Uh, one of the mobs I wanted to actually talk about in the next biome, it's this, this turtle, and you can hit it, but then the problem is, is it just keeps knocking you, and then you have to run at it to attack it since, you know, you only have melee weapons. It gets really annoying, especially when some of the other mobs, they run away. Whoops. When uh, you get too close to them. But, I mean, you will figure it out, right? I mean, there's nothing really more to that than, you know, you just gotta play how it is and figure it out. Um, kind of like what I had to do as, as a ranger, or not a ranger, I'm playing a ranger. Um, as a, a warrior the first time playing around by myself. It was still fun. Okay, so this is a parrot, so obviously we just gotta shoot everything until we get blue crystals. Uh, nope, but we got an egg, so, I mean, that's something. The... Oh, hey, look, he has a quest now. Okay, so maybe the tutorial is on. So, this game is very, um, it's like an RPG, a role-playing game, which, you know, most people usually just associate with like Dungeons and Dragons are class-based games. So for instance, our class is Ranger. There's a whole um, kind of like tech tree we can see here, or it's talent tree. We have attributes that we can increase, do more damage or to roll more um, and various things like that. We can have all kinds of armor. And I mean, there's a lot to this game. Um, they really thought about what they wanted to do and then they executed it fairly well, if you ask me in my opinion. Uh, there's the home. So we're looking for this abandoned home because this is where, oh, look, there's someone actually there. And there's a present on top of the mailbox. What? Ow. Yeah, so when I first played, there was no one in this land. You actually, oh, Robert, you had to just do it on your own. <laughs> there was no one to really talk you through, at least if I'm not mistaken. Um, you just kind of figured out as you went along. You'd have to read the signs. Special delivery, a bumblebee body. Huh. Okay. I guess that's a vanity item, I would imagine. The house darn near fell apart after the last storm. Can you fix her up for me? I'd do it if I weren't, uh, bad back. Sh sure. Phew! For a minute I thought I was gonna have to do some work. <laughs> if you place some refined wood blocks into the house, that'd be a good enough start. Okay, well how am I gonna do that? Destroy the crates and they'll keep whatever's in them. Um, you might need it soon. Like, real soon. Yeah. So over here on the side- Oh look! There's his wife. There's these crates, and then it turns into refined. Okay, nope, never mind. We're just gonna go ahead and attack the parrot. Because, I guess, auto system decided that we need to auto target. Alright. Too far, I'm right here. Yeah, I mean, I could use a, my hand, but that's what I got this bow for. I mean, it only, like, ticks down. I just gotta repair it. So, let's go ahead and let's finish this real quick. Um, that's the map button. There we go. So, refine wood there. Go to vanity. I should have this bumblebee. <laughs> Gosh. It's terrible. So you can't go into first person and, you know, third person as you just saw there. Using the middle mouse button. Is that high enough? Yes, okay, good. Um, it's handy when you build pretty- when you're trying to build close up. Um, it, it gets harder when you're trying to build further and at least in first person. Okay, so then that was there. I think there was- I'm pretty sure there was a-, a there's supposed to be a, a window here. No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, so let's just we'll knock this out by hand, and then I realize um, there's crafting stations in this game. Kind of like Minecraft, like it's why I was using it as a reference. Let's go ahead and go over here. We need four wood, that's why I grabbed wood. We upgrade it, and... See the cool effects? Bang! Uh, now we have a crafting table. It's, it's like, you know, any other crafting table who can craft certain items, like for instance, uh, stone pickaxe and sharpening stones. That's what you repair your weapons with. Um, in this case, we can make cloth bundles because I knew we we're going to need to. Um, I didn't grab enough uh, cotton, but we will have enough. I'll show you how. So again, each class has its own thing. So for instance, here's skills, for instance, uh, consumables, torches. Those are always good because it does get night. There's a day and night cycle. And then here's the portal stones, and this is what we're trying to make, um, by killing the monsters. So let's go ahead and just run out here, talk to Jane, I believe her name was, or Janie. And then, I suppose I should, um, I should get harvest all this cotton, but I don't see the point. What do you want? Tag along. Talk. It's our small cotton farm. I harvest the cotton and use it to, um, produce cotton clothes. 
You're welcome to help yourself as much as you need. Okay, well, don't mind me, man. I have tons of seeds. I actually can replace everything. Um, even better, since she had it spaced out, I can just clump it together and give her 12. It's actually the last thing. It's in the hot bar. 8, 14, 15, 16. All right, so let's go to 8. Oh, I didn't realize I can use the middle mouse button to talk to her. There we go. So see, it's like stuff like this that gets, um, gets easier when you have, uh, first person versus third. So we could just plant all those. Those will grow surely over time. We might need them before we're leaving, but, um, it just depends on how quickly we kind of finish everything here. Let's go to this crafting table. Let's go ahead and craft six of these, uh, cotton spools. Um, and that's why we need it because we need to go over here and we need the scout clothing. So now since we're, um, uh, what a, a ranger, we can only use certain appropriate, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Appropriate clothing. So for instance, squires gauntlets, those need, um, a warrior and they give, you know, a bunch of health. Ours, you know, it doesn't give us much health, but it gives us, uh, this mechanic, uh, it's a 1% chance to restore nine, uh, durability when inflicting damage. Which is neat, and then, you know, the Mage Gloves does its own thing. So let's go ahead and let's just craft one hat. Craft one Scout Gloves, or I guess a pair of Scout Gloves. A Scout Tunic. And then some Scout Leggings. And that should be that for that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just go back to the menu. And let's go ahead and get all of our clothing on so that we have... Nope, don't have a cape. Oh, now I don't have a ring. Uh, so, <laughs> let's turn that off. And then our vanity, you can't even see the armor. Unbind. There you go, so now you can see our kind of scout, um, outfit. We have some steel-like fists. Makes us, like, need to go punch stuff. Okay, so now that we have that, and now we'll have kind of a, a better idea of, kind of, our damage and overall defense. Oh, I missed that. Now, let's finish this house for Robert. That should give us one more. So what I want to do then is I want to build a underlayer so that we can, in the future, if we wanted to come back, we can make his house all pretty, um, you know, versus just having this be all the roof, you know, like covering this with more wood is what I guess what I'm trying to say. So let's go there. So like I said, sometimes it's easier to use first person. Sometimes it's not. Um, I meant to make a pickaxe, but I still haven't. Let's see. Was this roof just square? No? Okay. Okay, good. It would have had uh, yeah, layers to it. So let's go back up here. So that's that. So then that's correct here. I think so. Sure hope so. Oh, maybe it was a triangle or a pyramid. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, well, I'm trying to make it all pretty and then I realize kind of how it's going to be now. Anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and let's just finish it, right? Because we have a quest to help him... At least get the roof back on, so let's get the roof back on. However hideous this thing is turning out to be. Um, yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't have a pickaxe, so I don't want to sit here and try to, you know, use all the wood. Or use my hand to to break it all up again. Okay, that's a roof. I mean, it's, it's not going to leak, right? No, okay. Robert, we did it. These red berries and water make a nice... Minor healing potion. You can get water from some of the slimes around here. What kind of all things are right materials? A workbench. Of course you do. A workbench, you can make lots of stuff you can't make by hand. Yep. So let's go ahead and... I forgot in this game you actually gotta punch... Stop. No. We're just gonna punch stuff with this water that we got from killing the slimes already. We need two stone to make a pickaxe. So let's go ahead and just punch stuff by hand. Oh, this stone. That's how strong this bottle is. You know, we just carve through stone. Let's go back into our little hovel. Oh, gotta break those. Sometimes they have health, sometimes they have coin. Um, oh, I need four, not two. Uh, rounding back out. Where's my bottle? Beating up more. I think bottle does more damage than the seed. <laughs> oh, look, we get experience for mining. All right. Let's go ahead and go ahead and grab that. Perfect. And now we have a pickaxe, so inventory, which is backpack, not I. Um, oh, that's right. So in this game, you actually have to you have to pull stuff from the crafting table. So there, I can't tell you how many times I'm like I made something run out 
Like, oh, let me use it. And then realize that I'm like, oh, it's back in the crafting table. It's not good. So let's put that there. So now that we have a pickaxe, we can actually go back and remove the wood if I wanted to. In this case, you can see how substantially faster it is. And we can use it for all kinds of things, you know, harvesting uh, berries, uh, harvesting um, kind of almost anything up to a point. So let's go ahead and let's kill this orange slime. And then we have the green slime right next to it. And we'll go ahead and get one of those. So it's pretty much unlimited ammo as far as arrows. You don't really have to restock the arrows. The only thing you have to do is repair the bow itself, like I said, with the sharpening stone. Rupert, all right, sir. Um, the portal is capable of teleporting you to other islands such as this one. It's ancient, made of very powerful magic. It needs blue portal stones to activate it. You can make it if you find enough blue portal stone shards. Once you have enough blue portal stones, you are, you are ready to put them in the portal. Except, um, I've only seen one person leave by the, the way of this portal. I have yet to see anyone return. Are you sure you're worthy to take the risk? So you see how there's these signs, um, they change them, but it used to say like, you'll need portal, sno portal stones to get through, at least, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have one. <laughs> okay, that means we just need to kill a bunch more enemies. And... where are they? This map is, is huge, so I don't think we'll have a problem finding enemies, I don't think we'll have a problem finding supplies and other things so sometimes on the smaller maps it can get hard to find enough enough copper enough tree enough anything just because of you know you'll start using it pretty quickly since there's only very little of it and then i mean of course you can replant trees and stuff but you can't replant copper copper so there's all these like floating islands and i've never really been on one so i think that's something we're gonna have to do um most people and then my myself included you pretty much try to just sprint through this um, first area because, you know, it starts to open up. I mean, you have to visit all the areas kind of once in a while. Only because since, you know, this game is is really wanting you to kind of visit other lands, certain um, islands and other kind of areas only have certain resources. So, for instance, you know, like a cold biome is where you need to get snow and you can't find that anywhere else. Or some biomes, you know, you need steel or, or I mean, copper or tin. And, you know, there's only certain areas that have it. Or you need, you know emeralds or various other gems and it's like oh no you have to go here so you know it kind of forces you to go to other islands which i mean it's good you can always set a home island and i usually like to set up this one as the home island just to start oh man there's just a ton of slimes down here uh just because you know you, you need somewhere safe and this place is relatively safe you know there's level one slimes and level one parrots opposed to you know level 13 scary monsters you know that might be somewhere else in this case, we're just going to take pot shots of everyone. Kind of feel, you know, bad, but I mean... Oh! I don't feel bad. That dude just jumped like six blocks! Ah, they're all at my... My... Ooh, I guess I want to say back and call, but that's not the right word I'm looking for. They're all... Or I was going to die by my hand, I guess is really what I need to say. Hey, they're hitting me. So there's a bunch of rolling in this game. I keep forgetting. I have to tell... I literally have trained myself not to hold shift because in my head I'm like, Oh, I'm going to sprint! And you can do this weird, like, roll thing. It does work. It just looks really funny. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and get another orange slime. Too far. I just hit him. So, yeah, that focus fire you kind of see me doing. There is a... Man, there's a ton of slimes over here. Um, You can, you know, kind of shoot over it. And then the game's like, you're too far away. But you'll still see damage. So, for instance, I know I can hit that slime back there. My aim was better. I think I'm shooting over him. Let's just keep shooting until... Yeah, too far, but I'm hitting. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, I think the green slimes aren't... They're not aggressive until you attack them. Okay, so that should and hopefully be enough portal shards. I mean, we can check. The portal shards, although they're special, they're nothing special in regards to, like, we can only craft them in a crafting table. Oh, yeah. Okay, we only needed four, and we have... I think we have nine now so let's go ahead and we'll put the portals in and i think that's a good place to wrap up this first episode guys let's go ahead and run back up here run across over here uh we'll have to explore the castle we have a bunch of other things we need to do oh i have amber where did i get amber from what if it was a drop from one of the slimes it has to have been i don't know what we do with amber this early on um I have to see. Oh, look, our bow's really banged up. We're gonna need to uh, 
repair it, which we can do at the crafting stable. Crafting stable? The crafting table. We'll just need a little, uh, a little stone to, to make the tools needed. So, it's, it's not bad if you make a bunch of, uh, a bunch of extra portal blocks because in the next area, um, it'll also need blue, blue portal stones, spoilers. But there's, oh, I forgot at nighttime all the scary stuff comes out. Like this super scary night. Uh, I always forget this game has different mobs in the day versus in the night, and then the mobs are scary at night. <laughs> so I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna, oh man, do I have anything, any building blocks other than this two stone? No, backpack, come on, hitting B. Okay, good. All right. We don't want anything coming in. <laughs> there we go. And then we need to block this off. Like, no, like that. Okay, so we should be somewhat safe in here <laughs> until the morning. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Portal Light. I do plan on continuing this. It's something that I wanted to play for a bit, and I think it's, it's time I just bring it back, only because um, I feel like it, it's something that we would all enjoy, and, you know, I was asked, and so, of course, I wouldn't mind doing it, but if you're new and you made it to the end, welcome, and, you know, I guess thank you, and maybe subscribe, hang around, those that are veterans, you guys know you're always awesome, I hope you guys always have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and until next time, keep it real.